so here factorization by taking out the common factor so before factorization the concept will take the how to take the common factor from that we need to take the common factor only should be out so that should be one of the factor so let us solve with these examples now first i will show you uh, questions factorize factorize okay, let me write some questions then we will solve by using this concept okay so 9x square plus 12xy now this is the expression now in this expression we need to take fact we have to do factorization so if you observe 9x square is one term and 12xy is one term 9 and 12 are the numerical values and x square xy are variables here so these are constants these are the variables for 9 and 12 3 is the common factor so 1 is the common factor and 3 is the common factor but highest common factor should take 9 and 12 is 3 and x square xy is only one of the x because in this also x square in, x into x is x into y so x so finally 3 and x that means we need to take 3x as common so this only taking out the common factor so i is to common numbers you see separately and variables also you need to see separately that's it from 9x square 3x if you take common and one more number is 3 and x because if you multiply these both again same question should come okay 3x into 3x is 9x square plus here is number is 12 but 3 is common so more 4 because 3 4 is a 12 x is already common the remaining is y that's it so 3x into uh, 3x plus 4y so 3x is one of the factor and 3x plus 4y is another factor that means any expression is given we should write the product of uh, two or more expressions this is nothing but factorization so let me show you for more examples we get more clear idea in the questions are some different how to solve also let's see same factorize uh, 36 x square okay 36 x cube y i'm taking minus 60 x square y z in examination point of view also same just they'll change the numbers some variables and method is same so we should use the taking out common factor now when you observe 36 and 60 are numbers 36 60 for both uh, if you use hcf i used to common factor you can use hcf concept also if you do hcf you get 12 so 12 3 is a 36 12 5 is a 60 12 only i used to common factor okay i used to common factor is only 12 2 is a 2 is one of the factor, 3 is also one of the factor for both, but 12 is the highest common. So number is 12, numerical value is 12. Now come to the variables x cube y, x square y z. So x square because is x cube is x square, highest is x square. And y, y. So one y you can take. That's it. There is no z in this first term. So you can use the bracket, rest of the party right. 12, 3 is a 36, x is cube y, only x squared is common, so more x, only y is common, and 60, so 12, 5 is a 60, because if you multiply again, same thing should come, and x squared is already common, y is common, more z, that's it, right, 12 x squared y into 3 x minus 5 z, so 12 x squared y is uh, one of the expression, 3x minus 5z is another expression. So it has product of that. Then let me go with more. Okay, factorize 2a into x plus y minus 3b into x plus y. If you observe the question clearly, also you'll get some idea what we need to take common. In this, this is the first one complete term. This is also a combination of two terms. Is in x plus y is there, you also x plus y is there in bracket. So better take directly x plus y is the common. Okay, don't simplify again. 
again x y if you take x plus y if you take common the remaining is 2a in the first part minus in this is 3b that's it so you can do in this way also very easy sums okay similarly like third one i write one more question if the question is 8 okay 3a minus 2b square minus 10 into same 3a minus 2b so for first part only square is there is now for second so 3a minus 2b we can take common 3a minus 2b so this if you take common the remaining part will write that is uh, more 8 is there okay 8 and another 3a minus 2b minus and from this second part is only 10 is left because 3a minus 2b is common okay from this first is remain this is the part and from second only minus 10 just you will simplify this you will get the final answer if you want just to multiply okay and 3a minus 2b is one set and from the remaining also if there is chance you can try to make it into parts here is 8 and this is 10 8 and 10 highest common factor is 2 okay so 2 i am taking common from this again then this is 4 of 3a minus 2b minus 5 because 2 5 is 10 then 3a minus 2b and this 10 i am writing starting in bracket this part you simplify that is 3 4 12 a minus 8 b minus 5 write in the product of expressions no three expressions just if it is possible you can split into parts because we are able to use here 8 and 10 you can use it's here so I, again i simplify starting second step only you can make if you forget again you can continue like this so finally the process of writing expression okay as a product of two or more expressions is nothing but factorization so here is the method is taking out the common factors so this is one of the method we we'll use for factorization according to the given questions you need to take the step and how to do factorization by grouping okay if it is a common factor is not possible how to take the grouping the terms and again use the common factor so let us continue with that uh, topic also now that is factorization by grouping